Hey, hey everyone, Becky Lander here. Welcome back to day five of the Modern Direct Seller Challenge. I am so excited. You made it to Friday. Oh my goodness. Congratulations. I know that having consistency, showing up every day in your business, it's not easy and you are doing it and I am so, so proud of you. Today is going to be action packed. We're talking a little bit about getting ahead of the holiday hustle. I'm going to talk about four different phases leading up to the holidays, what you can do now to prepare for the fourth quarter. Uh, just really excited about today's content because it seems so early, but the holidays are going to be here before we know it. And I am a true believer that the holiday season is the most magical, best time of the year for direct sales. Literally anything can happen. You can blow those sales goals out of the water. You can promote up if that's part of your plan and your goals. People are open-minded. They're giving. Fundraisers are incredible in the fourth quarter. Uh, it's just such a great time of the year to to be able to provide gifts to your customers. Just so there's so much goodness in the fourth quarter. So really excited you're here. If by chance you missed our videos this week, you are not too late. We are happy to share those replays with you today. So make sure you hop right over to moderndirectseller.com slash challenge. You'll be eligible for prizes and it'll show you where to go to get what you need while these videos are still available for our challenge week. We are also giving away all the prizes. If you completed all five days of the Modern Direct Seller Challenge, there will be a shout out post. Make sure that you comment on that post that you got all five days done because we're giving out an entire year inside the Modern Direct Seller Academy. And I would love to personally continue supporting you as you're working to grow your business and you're keeping these great habits going throughout the fall selling season. Uh, we have so much goodness inside the Academy. It's truly the best community in the direct sales space. And we'd love for you to be a part of it. We have some super fun bonuses that we're sharing around creating video content in our B-roll bonus lab that is coming your way in October. We also are offering double confetti points when you are consistently doing your ABCs during the month of October. We're going to spoil you with double shop credit. And then if you're one of our pro or VAP members or you're thinking about upgrading, now is the time because we have our virtual retreat happening a week from today, next Friday. It's going to be a great opportunity to really get grand and map out those Q4 plans that you have as well as connect them in with some incredible direct sellers as well. So lots happening as we step into the fourth quarter. Uh, you're still welcome to share these videos with your team, your biz besties. You can click the share button below. Uh, we are cheering you on throughout the rest of this challenge. So let's get to it. How does that sound? Okay. We're talking about getting ahead of the holiday hustle. And again, this is the most magical time of the year. I truly believe that, that wallets are open, hearts are open, people are spending money, maybe a little bit more than usual. And it's a great time of year to serve your customers and offer incredible solutions for them. Now it's still September, so it might feel a little bit early to start talking about the holiday season, but many of you already have fall product that's dropped. Many of you have had Halloween releases or Thanksgiving or rolling even into your holiday collections. So I really love to think about the holidays in four different phases. So phase one is creating buzz. Phase two is Black Friday weekend, which oftentimes your company will have specials and deals and things like that over that holiday weekend. And then we have phase three, which is kind of prime shopping time between Thanksgiving before Christmas. And then phase four is kind of those better late than never shoppers, right? So maybe your holiday shipping cutoff date has passed where you can't guarantee an order will be received via the mail through, I would say, New Year's Eve. So you have kind of the last half of December, which is always a little wonky because you can't guarantee things for gift giving, but there's a lot that you can do in person then too. So let's start by creating buzz. So buzz starts now, and keep in mind, this, these, this training, this will apply in all seasons of your business, even for new product drops. So when we're thinking about creating buzz, we want to build anticipation. We want to start being curious and dropping hints and the content we're sharing and the messages. So if you're getting a sneak peek of what your company has coming, 
be sure to start teasing that now. Hey, I'm so excited. I got the first look at our holiday collection. Comment below to be the first to know right? So we're inviting people to raise their hand and say, yes, I want to know about your holiday specials. You're going to start making a list, right? I call this your customer priority list. Your list of people that are saying, yes, I want to know. Yes, keep me posted. So you are invited to message them directly and let them know when holiday drops or when Halloween drops or when that fall season catalog drops, right? So you're creating this this priority list and building that buzz. If you have a date for your holiday collection, you can be dropping hints for that over the course of the week leading up to it. Seven days until the drop, six days until, five days till. And in each of those, the call to action is comment below if you want to be the first to know. Then of course, when new products drop or when your gift giving guide drops, right, then you can go reach out to those people that are on your list and say, hey, you wanted me to let you know, I'm here to let you know, this is what is available and coming. So this is all around really a marketing campaign to create buzz, create excitement leading up to it. So that's gonna be our phase one. Now phase two is a Black Friday weekend. And oftentimes we think that starts with Thanksgiving, but many times companies are offering deals and promotions the week prior, right? So we're getting a little bit ahead of those big box stores that are spending big bucks on advertising to get their brands out there. So you have a little bit of a head start. So find out when things are dropping or if there's any specials or deals and you can kind of adjust the timing based on that. But that Black Friday weekend, you want to hit the ground running. You have so much opportunity over that holiday weekend. You have Black Friday, Small Business Saturday, Cyber Monday, Giving Tuesday. So you have a couple of different things that you can do to promote your offers, your specials, your products throughout that holiday weekend. Now keep in mind, if you map this out now, right, you can get real creative, you can run into it with a plan. Sometimes you don't quite know what your company is doing yet. You might need to put some tentative plans in place. But if you know that you're gonna offer a special or a deal to your customers, you can start planning for that. You can create that content now. You can start working on that customer priority list now. So you're not working over the entire holiday weekend because I know that I don't want to be doing that. I'm guessing you don't either, right? So this is a great chance to just get ahead of the holiday hustle. Think about how you want to creatively serve your customers during that period. You might be doing a deal of the day. You might be doing a countdown to a holiday drop. You might piggyback off of the specials that your company is offering. Now, I always want you to put the most money in your pocket. So if your company is offering specials, deals during this time frame, definitely take advantage of those before you go create your own campaigns. When you're thinking about promotions, I am a big fan of rewarding those that are shopping. So rather than doing a discount out of pocket, you may want to do a bonus gift or a credit on a future purchase. So those are always really fun promotions to kind of play around with. So you're not breaking the bank. You're really incentivizing those that are shopping with you and you're encouraging them to come back for more. All right, so let's hop over to phase three. This is really prime time shopping season. So this is from Giving Tuesday all the way up until your holiday shipping cutoff. And your company probably will start announcing over the next month or so when that holiday shipping cutoff date is, or you can kind of guesstimate it, but it's usually at least 10 days before the holidays. So sometimes it ends around like December 15th. It might be a little bit later, it might be a little bit earlier, but primetime shopping season is where it's at. So this is the perfect time for you to load up your calendar and you can start planning for that now. So if you host on online parties or you have a space like a VIP group where you're sharing content, you're probably going to want to create some really exciting gift giving bundles and packages to get people excited about the holiday season. Now, those weeks in December are the perfect prime time for shopping. So you want to anticipate what your customers' gift giving needs are. And what I mean by that is telling them who your gifts are for. This is for the hard to shop for aunt. 
This is perfect for the tween. This is perfect for the teacher. This is perfect to have on hand to bring to that holiday party that you're going to as a thank you for inviting you. So you can kind of start thinking a little bit about what gifts you have in your collection that meet the needs of your customers and in a sense really create a gift giving guide to help them out. This is also the perfect time of year that as people are making purchases and you're having those conversations, you're building those relationships, you're asking, who's left on your gift giving list? Or you're asking, okay, I got that for you. Are there any gifts that you need this season? So kind of planting those seeds and working that into your conversation starting now is a great approach to help just get a little bit further ahead on the holidays. Now, the last phase, phase four, is the better late than never. So these are the people that are shopping after the holiday shipping cutoff date through New Year's. So I would be thinking for these, these people that are shopping, what gifts do you have on hand for local customers? Are you able to offer gift certificates or something that would be just in time that they're able to use even after the holidays? and be able to still show up and serve them. So once you know that holiday shipping cutoff date, you may want to do an open house with some of the product that you have on hand. You may want to be highlighting those gift cards that are available that people can purchase from you. You may want to highlight things that they're going to want in January. So when we think about January, we think about people are, are really working on new habits. They're working on getting healthy. They're working on their certain things that are timely that you may be offering in your business that could kick off for them in January. This is also the time that while you're still working your business, you're probably starting to want to do a little bit more seasonal family things as well. So getting ahead, planning that content out now so you have a game plan going into the holiday season is going to free up your time and allow you to focus on what you love to do the most, which is probably really enjoying that holiday season. So as you're thinking about your holiday plan, I want you to map out those four phases. Maybe there's something I said that just jumped out at you and you said, yeah, that's perfect. I want to plug that in. So at a very high level, map out those four different phases and start planting some of those seeds so you can get ahead and not be wrapped up in the craziness of the holidays, but still be able to serve your customers in a really big way. So as we wrap up the challenge today, A, B, C's, get it done. You are a pro now. We have talked so much about active selling, building relationships, creating content. Say that you got it done in the comments below or grab a snapshot of this page inside your workbook. If you're looking for more ideas to get ahead of the holiday hustle, I got a download for you, moderndirectseller.com slash holiday. There's some good ideas and a template in there for you that's gonna help you out as well. And for all of our new members joining us inside the Modern Direct Seller Academy, I am so happy to have you. I can't wait to help support you as you make this holiday season the very best yet. I have loved being part of this challenge with you this week. I love seeing all of your wins and I can't wait to be back here to officially announce who our prize winner is that is getting an entire year inside the Modern Direct Seller Academy for completing all five days of the challenge. So make sure if you need to go back and watch any videos, you get that done. You comment on that finale post to say you got the challenge done and we will be announcing that winner on Monday. All right, my friends, thank you again for being here. Have a wonderful weekend. I look forward to seeing you inside the Academy. All right, take care, everyone. Bye.